a basketball is launched towards a basketball hoop and we're not sure how high the basketball hoop is and that's our job to find how high it is. We're starting with an initial height of 1.8 meters launched at 8.2 meters per second at a 42 degree angle. Our first step is to get this vector into x and y coordinates. So this will be our vy and this is our vx. Particularly this will be v1 and the y. Let's do that over here. v1 and the y is equal to 8.2 sine of 42. v1 and the y is equal to 5.5 meters per second. Let's do likewise for Vx. Vx is equal to 8.2 cosine of 42. Vx is equal to 6.1 meters per second. Okay, so let's see what we know. Let's go in the x direction first. So we know velocity is equal to 6.1 meters per second. And the basketball, if it has any chance of making it into the hoop, must go 5 meters. So we know the distance is equal to 5 meters in the x direction. Okay, and our job is to find time. So the only useful equation in the x direction is d equals vt. So I have 5.0 is equal to 6.1 t. And time is equal to 0.82 seconds. OK, so now that we found the time it takes for the ball to get to the same displacement in the x direction as the hoop, we can now find the displacement in the y direction the ball goes to get to the hoop. So let's get our y direction going. Velocity 1. Okay, is equal to 5.5 meters per second. We don't know velocity 2, so put a question mark on that. Acceleration, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Displacement, we do not know, and that's what we're trying to find since we're looking for a height. And time is equal to 0.82 seconds. Okay, so one more time we'll use the d equals v1t plus 1 half at squared equation. Let's do that over here. So displacement is equal to 5.5 multiplied by time of 0.82 plus 1 half negative 9.8 times 0.82 squared. Okay, we find out displacement is equal to 1.2 meters. That means the ball has gone 1.2 meters upwards, okay, from our original 1.8. So to get the height then of the basketball hoop, we're going to take 1.8 plus the 1.2 to give us 3.0 meters. And that's how you find the height of an object when you're given an initial velocity, in this case it was an angular projectile, so we had to break it into x's and y's first.